Hey, what's up? This is Meg from Slipknot. Good morning. I originally got uh, talking with Ibanez back in uh, like late 2003 when we were uh, doing Volume 3 record. And uh, they built me a, a test guitar. And uh, it was fucking amazing out of their custom shop. So, uh, you know, I moved on. And uh, I've been with those guys, yeah, since 2003. This was made for me, uh, 91205. There's a born on date on the back of all the custom shop guitars, yeah. So it was, uh, it came out of the finished shop, 91205. I tracked the last record on this. Um, mahogany body, mahogany, and uh, maple neck, maple and babinga. I forget, however the fuck I spec'd it in 2005. I've drank far too much since then to remember. Very thin, very thin, wide, flat neck, very flat radius. Um, I don't know, I found that playing a wide, flat neck just allows me to move my, it's easier for me to hit notes cleanly as opposed to playing, you know, something that's a little more comfortable, like a Fender, a lot more narrow, and it can be a little more comfortable, but uh, it gets a little, a little crowded. So, I don't know, I got used to playing these. A little shit on my hand. You'll have a little shit on your hand at a Slipknot show. But, uh, yep, so, handmade neck through, 24 frets, ebony. These, uh, these are my signature Seymours, but those are still prototypes, so they didn't have the graphic on them yet. They sound exactly the same as the ones that are in stores, which are in my other guitars. And they nailed those perfect. I mean, just the combination of the mahogany neck through with a fixed bridge, it's got all the advantage of a low pro edge, but you don't have to knock the hole through the guitar. Ends up being pretty heavy, adds actually to the mass of the guitar, even despite the route. Uh, it's just huge, tons of sustain, sounds fucking amazing. Plus, with the, you can lock it down, so you've got all the control that you need in terms of tuning. So, I don't know. I find uh, single volume, you never need the tone when you're playing metal, really. Three-way tele-style switch. You know, I mean, it does the trick. It's utilitarian. You know, if you wanted to add a coil tap or something, fucking obviously you could uh, with different pickups. But, I mean, for what I need, you know, with this band, it just, it works. There's a Jimmy hat on my uh, Audio Technica. Yeah, it's a... It's a, it's a damp show. <laughs> yeah, the show is moist. Uh, the best part is after the show... Everybody with their fucking in-ears and all that stuff, these end up torn off and all over the dressing room floor. So the cleanup crews have to be going, what the fuck took place in here? Like there's just busted Jimmy hats all over the fucking place. Or, oh, oh wait, Johnny's. Johnny's? Okay, yeah. Cool, man. So, <laughs> I got the, yeah, I got my British uh, slang right, right? Yep. Yeah. Decent. Yeah, hey, that's important, you know. Fuck. Uh, okay. Got to know your audience.